formerly known as PNG Tertiary Students Christian Fellowship Graduates Network, the PNG Christian Professionals Network is aligning with the Marape government's vision as well as to acknowledge and fulfill late great grand chief Sir Michael Somaris' vision for Papua New Guinea's economic independence after having gained political independence in 1975. Captain Clark Piokole, a former Air New Guinea pilot, has been part of a team of Christian professionals that has been the driving force behind the idea of taking back PNG's retail industry. And the Unity Mall initiative is part of this unified move. Uh, this is a soft, soft opening, not the grand opening yet. Uh, what we're doing here is basically, you know, a lot of people, we've been complaining, you know, we're always putting the blame on the government. We're saying the government's not doing this, government's doing that, the policy's not right, the rules are wrong. But uh, what we're saying here through the Christian Professional Network, the organization that's setting uh, this unity mall, what we're saying is that um, why don't we do something as general population, as citizens of our country, why don't we do something? This is part of a vision for the uh, Papua New Guinea Christian Professional Network. I am the chairman for this network. And this is part of our pillar number five for economic uh, empowerment. With the vision of the Unity Mall initiative established during a COVID-19 ravaged year 2020, the vision is now turning into reality this year with about 100 SMEs involved under the initiative. This involves businesses, whether existing or startups, in the areas of clothing, footwear, hair saloon or barber shop, printing, pharmacy and a whole variety of food stalls. We're going to have a big supermarket at the back. We've got about 100 SMEs here. Today is a special day. We chose it today because it is a Easter day, Easter weekend. You know, Christ came, gave his life for free and gave it to the world. Today we thought we tell Papua New Guinea, Port Mosby, the people, what we are doing to help them. Janet Toe owns one of the small food shops at the new shopping mall. She started almost a month ago and was delighted yesterday that all the food at her stall was sold out as a result of the free ice cream day that attracted a lot of customers. This is my little stall and I put uh, just garden food, organic food. Uh, I believe that uh, there's so many lifestyle diseases and all this, so uh, I prepare to put uh, garden food only at my stall. Uh, with this uh, Unity Mall, uh, that uh, uh, with this Unity Mall, they have given us a chance to uh, uh, small business uh, SME. The soft opening with free ice cream began at around 8 a.m. in the morning and went through to late afternoon with visitors taking a tour of the mall with businesses that operate within it. And both the kids and adults enjoyed the free ice cream offered to them, as well as the rest of the experience that went with it. For me, I was so happy today because the, it was really nice for this ice cream day. And we were really enjoying today. Did you like the ice cream? Yeah, it, it was really nice. The free ice cream initiative was also held today at the mall. A supermarket will also be part of the new Unity Mall as the main feature, which is still under construction along with a car park area. The new Unity Shopping Mall will have operating hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Danny Sorere, National MTV News.